It's Saturday morning, nearly 25 past 11 in the morning. It's been a very slow going day so far. Um, I thought I'd do a little bit of a weekend vlog. So I'm waiting for Freddy, the dog that we have very often, um, the cat poo, just waiting for him to arrive. Chris has popped out, he's gone to the chemist to get a prescription for him, himself, and he's then gonna go to Asda to get some Velcro strips and to get a loaf of bread. So, who's guessing he's gonna come back with something extra? I think he may. Uh, this is that little top that I got from um, Next. I recently did a little haul on a few little bits. Um, it is really, really, really big um, on my top half because I need it for the tummy area because I've got, you know, obviously dealing with this ovarian problem. Um, anyway, it's time to kind of do a few bits. I have done a few little bits this morning, um, but I've got a whole load of washing I need to do. I've completely run out of pyjamas as well, so I need to get that sort of thing, underwear and jammies in the machine first. So I'm gonna crack on and do that. Excuse the state of me guys, I do not have any makeup on or whatsoever and it will stay like that today. Right, let's get the old jammies out of the washing basket here. Oh, I kind of have been quite lazy and left it a little bit. I don't know why I did it. I wish I'd like I sort of wait for it to build up a little bit because and then I just prefer to have a day of sorting out the washing rather than putting the machine on every day which doesn't really make a lot of sense because I probably do as many loads but um, anyway it is what it is let's get the jammies out get them on I think I'm going to pop Dave round as well today. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got dishwasher on as well now. Um, I've got my recent Avon order, which unfortunately I forgot to vlog to be fair. Um, but the, I really love the, you know, the sprays that you get. You can use them on clothes, on yourself, in your room. And uh, this is a new one to me. It's lemon burst, and it's lemon and basil scent and it's enriched with natural extracts. If you are interested in Avon at all, and if you don't have like an Avon lady or man to order from, then I have got an online Avon shop if you wanted to just have a look. So it's all linked down in the, where the description box is, you'll see where it says more, click on more, then it goes to more again, click on that, and you'll be able to read down and it'll bring up my Avon uh, link. So I'm just gonna spray some of this, because I like to have it all nice and Fresh. Got the tap running for some wine glasses. So we did a couple of glasses of wine last night, which was lovely. It smells so fresh, it's lovely. And I like to spray the like like your fake flowers. So if you spray them with something like this or anything, you know, it kind of makes it feel as though the flowers smell. Right, so I just need to pick up this rug. Ooh. Shakey shake. Um, that wire, make sure there's no wires sort of hanging down that he can get. Otherwise, he gets them all tangled in his antennae. Uh, this charging cable needs to come up longer. That's it, move it out of the way. And uh, I tend to sort of move this over here for now. Then I move it away and you can do around that. Uh, the dog bed's fine. I shake out her bed a little bit. And then I move that over there as well. And I move that and then you can get under there. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Dizzy.com. So I've still got some Mother Day cards up, but uh, I'll leave them till tomorrow and then they can come down. So they've been up a week. 
Right, let's get Dave going. Come on, mate. Do you need emptying? Let's have a look. That's full in there. So it's not too bad in here. And the only dogs we've had that molt have been ours. Um, Freddie doesn't molt at all. But there's a few bits like on the floor, you know. So, there we go, like little bits. So let's get him going, shall we? And there he goes. And he's off. So Dave's come to work today, haven't you, mate? So I'm gonna shut the lounge door, otherwise sometimes he comes straight out of here. And I want him to finish that room. <laughs> I've had no breathless today, guys. Let me turn your hand oh. again. Feeling quite breathless today. I think it's just these ovarian cysts because they're so big and they've got, like when you're pregnant, you get pressure up here under like the rib cage, your diaphragm. And uh, they do make you very breathless. Anyway, I had a package this morning. This is from Amazon. So I've done a little Amazon order. Um, I've got some other bits to come because they always, well, some things weren't available till Monday. Um, but these are the baby cotton wool oval pads. Funnily, they're by Lilettes. And I've never actually noticed that before. Um, but they're the cotton oval pads. They're just to, obviously, for my face. Um, I wanted a new elf eyebrow pencil this is the instant lift brow pencil it is so good and i get it in natural brown it's so so good um and they do it in let me sit down they do it in super drug and right now super drug have got, got oh gosh have got a, um, a sale on however when i looked at amazon they were kind of matching so, and it's a quicker delivery because we already pay for Amazon Prime, you know, we might as well just get from Amazon. Um, then I went for this. I saw it and fancied it. It is dermatologically tested um, and it is a miracle skin. It's by Revolution and um, matches revolution's price as well because obviously you know you can get revolution in super drugs so you'd get it at sale price um but they match they matched it and it's the supercharged skincare skin oil miracle oil so that's what it looks like get it out and have a look oh that looks not much is in here it's quite a quite a big bottle actually well 30 mils so it looks really nice, doesn't it? Just give it a try my hand. Do you, what do you do? Just twist it, turn it. Oh, okay. It's got the little pipette thing, so you must push that down to get it up in the pipette. And then put it that way. doesn't smell of a lot it's very it has a tiny fragrance to it but i couldn't tell you what because it's not you know it's nothing it's not a really highly fragrant thing um i'm going to pop a little bit on my face because i actually don't have any skincare on at all today so i'm going to pop it on and we'll see how quickly this Go straight in to my skin. Feels nice. But my skin is so, so dry at the moment. I think with all the sort of hormone problems and everything. Do you know, apparently, if you do this, if you just sort of massage this part of your neck, you are massaging your thyroid. And apparently that sort of helps. So I saw on a doctor's YouTube channel. 
and it kind of helps with sort of stimulating the thyroid gland, so. Right, very nice. It does feel like it's sinking in as well. So that's that that I got. So I'll show you that one. Um, what's this one? I've got some other skincare coming that Hannah has been having using. And her skin looks amazing right now, so she sort of recommended, so I've ordered a couple of little bits. But I haven't got that yet. Um, so this, she did recommend this. This is the Miele Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil, infused with biotin and encourages growth for daily use, scalp treatment and split end care directions. Scalp treatment, section hair into four parts, exposing scalp, apply a small amount of oil to scalp, massage oil in. I might pop a little bit in the parting now. Smells nice. I was using some um, like rosemary oil I had from TikTok. And it smelled beautiful and it's great on my skin, but I didn't see any results whatsoever in my hair. Um, but I have been taking for the last probably three weeks now, I've been taking collagen powder sort of in my drinks. Uh, I have like a scoop in the morning, scoop in the evening, so twice a day. Uh, if you're interested in which one I'm using, just let me know. And um, you know, I'll let you know, but I didn't want to really say too much at the moment because I don't know if I'm feeling or seeing any results right now because it might just be too early. I think they recommended like about a month before you might see obviously any difference because obviously that's how long it takes for your skin renewal, doesn't it? To, like your skin cells to renew. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this in anyway, just not doing it properly, obviously, am I? <laughs> But I thought I'd just, just put a little bit in. Just so that we can see what it's like together. And hopefully this will just absorb really quickly. Alright, so I really need to comb or brush my hair now. Again, oh, my hair's so fine. Never used to be, you know, I used to have lovely hair. But as I've got older and all the ailments and the medication, and you know what it's like, girls, don't you? And guys, of course, you know what it's like. Right, so that's that oil. So I'm all about the oils at the moment. Um, and then the last one is a by Revolution, and Hannah has been using this. Um, but only I've got the night cream, she's got the day cream. I didn't particularly need the day cream because I use an SPF 50 in the day. I, I do use a moisturiser, then I put the SPF 50 under there, but I didn't need it. But I thought I'd try the night cream. So this is by Revolution and it's the Miracle Night Cream, which apparently um, a lot of people are saying is just like the Charlotte Tilbury one, like a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. So although I don't need to put it on now, I will just to see what it's like. And you get a nice full pot and it's a nice consistency. It's not like it's thick, but it's like almost like a sort of like a gel consistency. So I'm going to pop it on over the oil because that's actually what I would do at night, isn't it? So just to see what it's like. Cool, I'll probably be one hot sweaty mess in a minute. I always put it over my lips as well because I get so dry. So kind of like really whatever I'm using, I pop over the lips. God, my hair feels really greasy now. But if it all soaks in properly, 
then hopefully it won't last psychic for long because right now I'm also having a hot flash. So that really hasn't helped. Right, it feels lovely, it really does feel nice. So I'll put all this on the stairs to go up. The boxes can go to the recycling in a minute. Um, so that's that. Look at my hair. Goodness sake. A handbag full of rubbish. Let's see, I need to sort out. Um, I need to see if I've got a comb in here. With everything else in here, you'd think I would have one, wouldn't you? A brush or something. Have I got one? Probably not. I think I might change my handbag today. I get so fed up and bored with them, do you? I'm always wanting to change my bags up. And then I have a favourite and then I don't have a favourite anymore. <laughs> but no, there's not one in there, guys. I'm so sorry, I can't brush my hair. Let me see if I can just make it look a slightly bit different and a bit better than it does right now. But, um, I only washed my hair yesterday as well. <laughs> I think this might be something that I'd have to put on. Or maybe I've put too much on. Do you think I've probably put too much on? Maybe. Anyway, let's see. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Um, right, I need to sort this out, put the stuff away, and I'll be back in a minute. Right then, my lovely. So, we are now back 25 past one, so a little bit later. One lot of washing done is drying, another lot in the machine. Uh, Chris is back from the shops, he got, he couldn't get the, um, like the branded Velcro strips, so he did get as his own to see what they're like. They're only to hold up some really like sort of pictures, well actually the embroidery that I've done, um, so I'm, I'm sure they'll be fine. We had hot cross bun and coffee for like lunch, because <laughs> we just didn't know what to have, didn't really fancy anything. Um, and I was going to go and have a little look around Aldi's, but because I've been sort of on the go this morning doing bits and bobs and a lot of bending, etc., I really don't feel like going out now. Walking's a bit painful and, you know, you get a lot of pressure down below. Um, so I'm going to just chill out and I've got my planner here in front of me and I'm just going to sort of like, I've got some stickers as well. And I'm just going to do a little bit of planning. Right, so Chris is just framing. Uh, the embroidery that I've been doing. So that one kind of go matches up the top there. That one there. So it's going to go the other side of the hanging baskets. Did you want to go out, my baby boy? Come along then. Off you go, do Leo. Hi, did I, did I? So we really cannot wait to get a really decent day. Well, today would have been ideal, but we Chris had things to do. But uh, another day like today, and then we can get this decking jet washed. And then we're going to measure it and cover it uh, to make it look a little bit fresher. Still doing the washing. So done, how many lots have I done? Two, three, this is third, third lot here. I've got one lot left to do, and then we're up to date with the washing. And then, I guess it's just gonna trim around the edge. I've got my son Josh, a new phone case. I must remember to tell Luke to take this. His phone case is literally I don't even know how it's hanging together but he's got so sentimental over it <laughs> I thought well if I don't get him one he's never going to change it honestly it would just disintegrate in his hand it's so bad I suspect uh, Freddie will be here any time because he's been coming between three and four and that's time now So that was 
Amazon delivery for this foundation that Hannah recommended from Revolution on offer exactly the same price as Superdrug. So I'll let you know how that goes. And perfect. That's it. So I've got total on each side. Aren't they cute? I really love them. I'm doing one at the moment that I don't know if I'm really happy with, but I'll see when it's finished. that one. Oh, I'm a perfectionist. Freddy boy, hello my lamb chop. Lamb chop chop. Freddy, come here. Say hi. Say hi. You haven't been here for a while, have you, my darling? Ow. No, I ra ra out. I'll take your harness off in a minute, my little Scooby Doo. All right, Chrissy, is up there putting Buzz Lightyear up there? Little Buzz Buzz. Little Buzz Buzz, Buzz Buzz Bee. Little Bumblebee. So I've got another one that I've almost finished with this. So it can go just next to it, I think, when it's done, which will probably... I'll I'll finish it. I'll finish it. I'll finish it today, yeah. Okay. So there's that one. Blinds closed because we're watching a documentary about murder in Scotland and uh, it's quite bright outside so you couldn't see probably. When the cards go down tomorrow I could probably put this there but for the moment I think I will pop it just there because that looks quite sweet doesn't it. That's it, murder in a small town if you're interested on Paramount. Now I know you're here, don't I? Look what you've done. Yes, look what you've done. <coughs> what you do? <coughs> Did you? Did you do that to my... <laughs> look at your mouth. Did you do that to my cushions, Hey. Eh? Right, let me take this harness off you. Come here. <laughs> look, you're nearly three now, so you're no puppy. You're no puppy dog. I'll say, right, come here, off. Where's your leg? Get your leg out. Ready? Off, there we go. Right, let's put this away. So, Freddie's got a new eating regime, haven't you? Yes, because you were poorly, you had parasite in your tummy. They had to do blood tests, didn't they? Yeah, and so now you've got some different food. Where did you get that parasite from? All right, that's enough now, you little monster. Right, down, Freddie, down. If you want to cuddle, get down. I can't cuddle you like that, can I? Look what you've done to all my stuff. Look what you've done to it all. Oh my goodness, me. Oh, Freddy, I know you're here, Mr. Bombast Bombastic. And you can relax, eh? Right, let me sit down and then we can have a huggle bugs. We can have a huggle bugs. Want a huggle bugs? Eh? Yeah. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Hello. Right, cuddles now. Nicely cuddles. Ah, oh, that's a good boy. Oh, where's my Elsie Bouse? Yes, a good boy. Look at you, beautiful boys, winters and groomers. Da da da. Is it da da da? Oh, God. Dog breath. Mr. Dog breath. Oh, yeah, clever. Who's coming down to see you now? Who's this? Who is it? Who's coming to see you? Who's coming to see Hello, you? Frederick. Hello, Frederick. At least you don't get hairs all over here. Oh, for God's sake, cushions. You too. Elsie, stop being possessive. So he's got his new jacket on. Guys, look! Look at the look at the look at the badge. Look at the badge. The brooch. Look at the where's the socks? Where's the oh, Look at the Honey Stay socks. So you know where he's going. Ooh, don't you look lovely, Luke? He's going out girling tonight. 
back now. They're, they're all meeting up, Josh Lewis, Luke, and some friends. They're going to a friend's house for a housewarming party. He's doing three events in one night. He is. He's going to a housewarming party. And then they're going <coughs> off to drink Guinness for St Paddy's Day. And then you've got your meal. Yep. Oh, no, it's the meal before the drinks, isn't yep. it? Yeah. Hi everyone, it is Sunday and I do apologise that I haven't been on doing any filming today whatsoever. Um, I've just, I kind of done a little bit of taking it easy and doing like bits and pieces at the same time. Uh, so it's been like quite a good combination of getting things done and like taking time out. Anyway, this is on my hair because I've just coloured my hair and I will be doing a separate video on that. So if you're interested to um, see how I did it or what colour I used, um, then please look out for that video. I look extremely tired. I am very, very tired. Look at my eyes. They look so sort of red, don't they? Anyway, I need to do my eyebrows. They need to be tinted. So I did think that whilst I'm sort of waiting for this hair colour I thought that you know whilst this is kind of cooking on my hair um at the same time I'll take advantage and just colour sort of tint my eyebrows at the same time then when I get in the shower you know everything can be done at the same time so I'm just putting a little bit of cleanser just over my brows like that and this is the one that I get from a beauty pie I don't know about you guys, but I used to be so on point with looking after myself, like not personal hygiene, because I, I keep up my personal hygiene, of course, but like the taking care, taking time out, making sure my nails were lovely, everything else. Right now, I just don't. And I honestly think it's because of the way I think about myself. Um, if you are new to my channel, then I have been diagnosed on the cancer pathway with having ovarian cysts. I've got three very, very large ones that now weigh approximately nine pound each. And I've got smaller ones as well. Um, so I'm waiting for open surgery. However, the last consultation I had with my, um, my gynae oncologist what the surgeon he said to me he you know, he was really cheesed off as well um because he said there is so much bed blocking at our hospital there's something like it's either 196 or 198 beds being blocked by people who are well enough to go home but they can't go home because they can't look after themselves um so they've had whatever their medical um, problem has been and they are recovered from that but they still need like that convalescent or they still need to be looked after for a couple of weeks um, and so yeah he I mean he said that he's getting through his list for ladies who are having uh, hysterectomies because he can bring them in on day cases they can go into the day ward and usually like most of the time people are away, uh, patients are well enough to go home that day that night like that evening obviously there's going to be the odd one that they might have to stay overnight um, but for myself and for He's got a folder on his desk about that sort of big, where they're all his priority cases. Um, and myself, I need to have an intensive care bed because my surgery is about 11 hours. Um, and yeah, I need to go into intensive care afterwards. And then of course I need to have a ward bed for when I come out of intensive care. Um, so they have to secure, make sure there's beds available for me and then of course when they do get any beds obviously all the surgeons really are fighting over them for their own patients and then he said and if there is a bed available then there nine times out of ten there's been a doctor strike and so he can't get a team in theatre so right now the times are very difficult for I'm just gonna put the fan on because I've got a hot, a hot flush coming now um, so times are really difficult for the NHS and of course for patients like myself 
and others. Um, and funnily enough, I was talking on Friday, uh, we did Nepal and there was a couple of guys doing like collections for cancer. It was world, I think, what have you got? No, come here. I believe it was the world cancer charity. That's Freddie over there on his holiday. Um, and what they do is they have been promoting, we had a really lovely long chat, and what this particular charity do is they work with Southampton University Hospital and what they're doing there is when you have a diagnosis for cancer, before you start any treatment at all and before your immune system is compromised, they are taking stem cells and then they're doing something with these stem cells, you know, treating them, whatever they're having to do. And then they put the stem cells back into you and then that they, those cells should then fight cancer cells. But obviously they have to catch you right at the beginning of diagnosis um, because it wouldn't work if you're autoimmune suppressed. I am anyway, because I've got several other illnesses i've got rheumatoid arthritis i've got lots of other things going on um and my immune system is absolutely shot so i would never be able to have that but it's very very interesting and then i was talking to them about because they said to me i went to your surgery so I explained it all and um they said have you ever heard of the red cross homing support scheme or something Obviously, I've heard of the Red Cross, but I haven't heard of this particular scheme. Well, apparently, the Red, you can contact the Red Cross and they have a whole team of people who will find support for people who are doing exactly the bed blocking. So if they don't have family that they can go to or family can't go to them, then they can... Um, supply support for people to go into their homes or vice versa and so I found that really interesting and I didn't know about it so I'm definitely going I mean I, I imagine the hospital know about this because surely social services would know about it right but I will mention it anyway in case but that would go a long way to freeing up beds right anyway let's get back on to doing these brows so yeah i just thought i'd like you know fill you in on that just in case if you are new to my channel you you know you wouldn't know that so anyway i use the isla isla london dye brow and i use it in shade uh, medium brown oh i was saying sorry wasn't i that i kind of don't bother with myself anymore because I look the way I look and I've had to buy so many new clothes to fit around my tummy. The last time I measured it was 60 inches um, and I know it's more than that now and I haven't measured, I don't want to measure. Um, and I have to keep buying big, bigger clothes to go around me. And although they kind of so big up the top of my shoulders, But I kind of hate myself. I don't. I look at myself and think, what's the point, really? What is the point in trying to do anything to improve, like the impossible? What can't, you know? I I won't feel nice about myself until it's over. I know I'm going to end up with huge scars because obviously I'm going to be cut. Open surgery, you are cut from breastbone down to pubic bone and then across like a C-section. Um, and it's a massive operation and then they have to remove like the fat from your tummy that layer of fat get through them cut through the muscle uh, do anything and you know obviously they've got to remove the um, all the cysts they've got to remove the ovaries I had a hysterectomy over 30 years ago um, they've got to remove the appendix and then hope that, that it's not sort of adhered or stuck to any other organ 
but in case it is, those other surgeons have to be on standby. So if it was stuck to the bowel, they have to get that person in. If it's stuck to something else, they have to get that person in. And blah de blah. So it's all a nightmare. So I'm going to end up with a lot of scarring. And I've had six babies and I didn't have one stretch mark. I had a set of twins. I've never been as big as I am now. Um, and so, I mean, really, I don't really care about that. I just want to be better and I want to recover and I want to be able to at least look nice in my clothes again and just kind of get used to seeing my body as it will be but right now I hate it I see these things growing um, I've got a lot of pain discomfort and it does make you feel like you look at yourself and you just want to give up, really. It's like, and I'm not saying all this to get a sympathy comment back or anything like that at all. It just is disheartening, you know. Anyway, let's not go too deep. That's deep enough, really. Right, so what I do, so I don't ever read the instructions anymore because I've been doing it for so long. So you've got your little thingy like this. You've got your little spoolie here and you've got this. So I just kind of like, just go up my little skinny thin eyebrows that are so minutely thin because I overplucked them in my youth. Open up the colour and then I pop that in the middle bit here. It sort of tells you to do so, a certain size. I just go for it now. You know, you just sort of wing it, don't you, when you've done things a lot of times. Then the activator goes in, just this one. Again, I just wing it only because I kind of know what it looks like when there's enough. Um, so there it is, and I'm just gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna go and get a couple of cotton buds because I prefer to put it on with cotton buds. And then you give it a really good mix. Right, I'm just gonna bring my mirror my like 10 times magnified mirror up uh, and I just pile it on I literally pile it on guys so I I pile it on like this so it covers every single hair that way okay and then I go back this way so I can cover up the underside. Look, at, gosh, I look like Dennis Healy. Some of my eyebrows are so long. <gasps> you see that great big long one sticking up there? <laughs> oh, I'll have to get that later. And then I whack it all back on. I just, I need it on really thick because although I don't have thick eyebrows, um, I hate to mix, I hate to miss and he has so I really just shove it all on like that there we go and then I take another one and I'll just sort of go over the top of my brow and then round here under here and then I can see that I've got hair, um, hairs there, so I need to put some back on there. There we go. Right. So that's that one. Let's put some on the other one. I need new batteries in this mirror. It's not, as, I mean, it's still quite bright, but not as bright as it should be. I'll ask Chris to do that for me because he likes to do that sort of thing, you know. Um, right, so that's that done. And I'm going to use a cotton pad to wipe this out. I tell you what, my dinner smells lovely. I didn't really know what to do for dinner today. Uh, last night I took out some chicken breasts out of the freezer and defrosted them overnight and I thought oh what do I do I didn't know whether to do like um you know like Philadelphia with 
chicken and sort of bacon, that sort of thing. And then I couldn't be bothered to do that. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll pop on the slow cooker. So I've got in the slow cooker, I've got onions, garlic, carrots, like little juliennes of carrots, some sweet corn. Um, garlic, I said, didn't I? Some salt, pepper. Uh, Worcester sauce. Soy sauce. A chicken stock cube. Some a tomato puree. Oh, look at that dripping down. Tomato puree. And, um, honey. So, let's wait and see what that turns out like. It smells nice. And then I've got baby potatoes in the air fryer. Ready to, um, I should roast them off in the air fryer, I think. And we just have it like that. So I'm really looking forward to it. That's everything back in the pack, look. I can get maybe four or five goes with this and it's not expensive to buy and a lot cheaper than going to a salon um i used to do my eyelashes as well but you know can't bother with that and i've been using this serum on my eyelashes to try to get them to grow but i don't know if it's even worked i don't know it's uh, what it has done actually it has thickened them up a little bit and it has made them darker on the ends. So I think as they've grown, like the old ones have come out and new ones have regrown, they've grown through darker. But um, as for the length, I don't think they've done that yet. But I shall persevere. Mind you, I'm the world's worst for not doing it every day. I am terrible. Are you like that? Do you do it every day? If you've got something like you're starting and you think, right, I really want to see a result with this. And so you do it. And no, I don't, I'm afraid. Alexa, how much longer on the alarm? Thank you. Four minutes. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go and run my shower because... Four minutes will be up once I've sort of got my towel and everything else. And I'll be back after the shower. Fresh out of the shower, as you can see. So that's what the eyebrows look like. So they're not too dark, are they? I actually do prefer them when they're a bit darker because they last a lot longer. Let's get some uh, products on my face. So I'm going to pop on this, which is what I showed you yesterday. Um, this is the Miracle Oil by Revolution Pro. So this is for the face. And then I'm going to pop on the uh, the nighttime one. Actually, I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use... Should I use that one or that one first? Hold on, let me just double check the instructions. It tells me what I can and can't use with it. I think I'll use this one. So this is by Beauty Pie and it's the Overnight Skin Perfecta. So it's gentle retinol, triple smoothing infusion with caviar lime, AHAs and sodium hy hyaluron hyaluronate. Uh, hyalur hyaluronate. Hyaluronate. <laughs> and it does say that you can put on your, like your, Beauty serum and drops first. So I'm going to pop a bit of that on. There we go. And I'm just going to dab it on. I'm so sorry if I haven't answered any of the comments lately. What are you doing? Um, excuse me, mister. What are you doing? We don't do naughties. <laughs> if I haven't answered many of your comments lately, I tried to do it on a Sunday. And, uh, yeah, that's the day that I really like to do it, is on a Sunday. So, if I can, I'll sit down tonight. And I say, 
if I can loosely because I often end up falling asleep whilst I'm doing it so it does feel lovely it smells lovely and of course it's very affordable um so I won't put that one on today on there what I will do is I'll go in now with the uh this is the UK lash serum so I'll go in with this one now and you literally just put it like where you would put your eyeliner just across the top there of your like your lash line they definitely are looking thicker healthier and darker and then I don't put it on the bottom lashes because I feel that when you're just sort of blinking naturally, it's going to go on to the bottom lashes anyway. So I'm going to go in now with this, with the Beauty Pie Overnight Skin Perfector. And I probably put way too much on, but there you go. I need all the help I can get. And you're slipping down again, guys. Just rub this in, and then that's got you know lots of stuff to help your skin. Really, an old lady like me <laughs> to help with the sagging and the bagging, but particularly my skin's so dry at the moment. I'm sure I've got a whole load of like hormonal stuff going on as well with these things. Right, so that's that one. And then in a minute, I'll wait for that to sink in and then I will put on the night cream. This is fantastic. This thing here from Timu. I absolutely adore it. Um, I'll just very quickly show you. So you've got all the different light therapies. So you've got the green there. And when you put it on, it does. like this got that lovely massage i won't spend all the time doing it now i'll just show you and i particularly like it here to try and relax the muscle here so this doesn't pull down as much i also love it here it really helps if you have a headache as well because you're just having that muscle massaged and it kind of helps relax it. And then here. Here. I do obviously spend longer than this doing it. So I'm just sort of showing you. And then you can change the colour to the red, which is, I think the red does the most. But I prefer the blue, which is the last one, because it's all heated and warm. It's gorgeous. But you can hear it. But uh, this is also helping that cream to go in. Um, I will try and find hopefully i'll remember the video that i did from the timu hall where i got this because it is linked obviously in like the description in the more bit in the more section and it's you know it's so good honestly it was about six pounds something like that i mean right and this is my favorite the blue i just love the way it feels it gets so warm and beautiful it's so relaxing for it to be like the last one in the light therapy. It is so relaxing. Oh, my dinner smells gorgeous. <laughs> oh, the warmth is beautiful. It's coming through now. Do a little bit here over those wrinkles. Try and relax the muscles there. Oh, 
sorry I'm so quiet. It's just so enjoyable. I highly, highly, highly recommend these. Um, it does actually have a timer on it so that you can, um, you know, you can keep it on massaging until it tells you to change the light. So it does do that as well. Right, eye creams. These are from a little company on Amazon that I did a review for. Oh, and I love them so much. Um, and it is called Imen. Again, if I can find the video, I'll link it. Actually, I know I'll find the video. I just, just remember in it, to be fair. So I just pop a bit of the serum around the eye like that. And I'm not saying, you know, it's doing miracles. Because when you're older, I'm, what am I, 67 this year? Um, you know, you're going to get wrinkles. It wouldn't be natural if you didn't. And I'm not for like Botox and stuff like that. I don't blame anybody else if they want it. It's up to them. It's personally just not for me. So now I'm going to go in with the uh, Revolution Night Cream. And this apparently is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and it is the Revolution uh, Pro, Revolution Pro Miracle Night Cream. That's what it looks like. It's like a thick it's quite thick i've got to say look it's thick but uh, it's a gel sort of consistency and as with everything i will probably put far too much on but you know i'd rather have too much than not enough <laughs> oh feels good and this was can't remember I know it's on offer in Superdrug, as I've already said, but if you go onto Amazon, it's on offer there as well. So they're sort of matching Superdrug. So if you have got Amazon Prime, then, you know, you'll get it the next day and you're not having to go out to get it. And I am going to pop a little bit on the back of my hands because it just feels so nice. I was going to do my nails tonight, but I think I'll leave that because I'm hungry and I want my dinner. Oops. That is skincare complete, shower done, leg shaved, all the rest of it. Well, leg shaved, armpit shaved. Um, guys, without being crude, nothing else could be shaved because I can't even see anything down there. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go, going to dry my hair now and I'll be back a bit later and I'll show you what my dinner looks like. Can't wait. <laughs> I've got my drink down there, I think. Oh, yeah, I've got mine. Yeah, I've finished that. I've got to go to the freezer. I've got to go to the freezer. I've come across that ice cream bomb that we bought for Christmas. Yeah. I've got to go to the freezer for nine hours. Nine hours to do frosting? In the fridge. In the fridge. Oh, right. Oh, it's lovely, what's in it? Chicken. There's garlic. Onion, onion garlic. Yeah. Sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Carrot. Mm -hmm. Um uh, stock cube. Soy sauce. Mm. Honey, honey. Tomato puree mm -hmm. and Worcester sauce. So enjoy. Come on. All right, I'm coming. And here we go. Here's my dinner. So little baby roast potatoes did in the air fryer. Uh, the chicken was all done in the slow cooker. So I'm really looking forward to eating this now. And so my lovelies, I'm going to love you and leave you while I go and eat my dinner. It is now quarter past seven, um, so it's quite late really. So I'm going to go and enjoy and watch a little bit of TV. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. Let's all comment together down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and press that notification bell. And then as soon as I've done a new upload, you'll be notified. And then we can all grab a cuppa and sit down and have a good natter. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.